This is Christopher Cernike hosting episode 10 of season 5 of the Current Topics in Science podcast. This podcast will address breaking scientific news in light of the origins debate and host interviews with scientists. Today we're going to look at a kind of fish from the time of the dinosaurs that's still alive today. This podcast is available on the following platforms, iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Video recordings of the podcast will be uploaded to YouTube. Enjoy the podcast. The Right Honorable Sir Winston Leonard Spencer Churchill, or Winston Churchill, was the Prime Minister of England during World War II. He also had this to say about one of London's most popular culinary dishes. Winston Churchill called fish and chips the good companions. Indeed, amazingly enough, more than 229 million portions of white fish fillets are sold each year in England, each one coated in a light batter and deep fried, and served alongside fat fried slices of potatoes. There's another kind of fish that, while not being served with chips, certainly does chip away at a popular naturalistic theory. This fish is called the Atlantic Sturgeon, and it was featured in a Newsweek article called Strange Rare Fish from Time of the Dinosaurs Washes Up on East Coast. The article gives several details about this mysterious creature, the Atlantic sturgeon, and describes how it was found. The Newsweek article states, The Atlantic sturgeon is a large fish found in rivers and coastal waters from Canada to Florida. It can reach lengths of 14 feet and a weight of more than 800 pounds, according to the Florida Fish and Wildlife Conservation Commission. These fish which generally live up to about 60 years, have a distinctive appearance with five rows of protective bony plates called scuts that run along their body, long snouts, and shark-like tails. Arctic sturgeons are prehistoric fish that have been dated back to more than 120 million years ago when dinosaurs still roamed the earth. What's interesting is that the sturgeon is repeatedly referred to as a creature that lived right alongside the dinosaurs. The Virginia Institute of Marine Science states, Atlantic sturgeon are members of an elite group of fishes whose relatives have been found around since the time of the dinosaurs. While the fossil record of the sturgeons dates back at least 85 million years, only 25 species of these living fossils persist worldwide. What exactly is a living fossil? A living fossil is said to be an example of so-called evolutionary stasis. Dr. Stephen J. Gould and Niles Eldridge acknowledged the maintenance of stability within species must be considered as a major evolutionary problem. In other words, living fossils are a problem for the theory of evolution. Dr. Donald Batten in his article, Dodging Living Fossils, made this challenge to evolutionary theorists, saying, Evolutionists like to call it evolutionary stasis. But evolution is about change, and putting evolutionary in front of stasis does not explain stasis in terms of evolution. All organisms undergo mutations, accidental genetic changes. There is no mechanism that prevents mutations such that many organisms can remain the same for supposedly hundreds of millions of years. He continues, In the evolutionary story, Environmental change, or the development of new environmental niches, drives evolution as organisms adapt to new environments. So they argue that the living fossils are the creatures whose environment did not change. However, in the evolutionary view, Earth has sustained multiple global catastrophes, but not a global flood, the Bible speaks about that, and multiple ice ages. How could there be any place on Earth that has remained static, including no change in predators? And living fossils occur across the spectrum of life, and they're very common. Combine the observations of stasis and the scarcity of transitional fossils, there should be millions of them, and you have to ask, where is the fossil evidence 
for evolution. Doctors Gould, Eldridge, and Batten aren't the only three voices saying that living fossils are a problem for evolutionary theory. Dr. Joachim Shevin is a German zoologist and paleontologist, and he even has a species of twisted wing insect named after him because he discovered it in fossilized tree resin. He said, most of the public are unaware that there are literally hundreds of different types of animals and plants which are alive and well, and which are essentially unchanged from the way they appear as fossils. Such facts make it difficult to believe that these forms were separated by those imagined millions of evolutionary years. He cited the example of the coelacanth as a living fossil that shows that the evolutionary theory is dead in the water. He wrote, its fossil counterpart is allegedly 300 million years old. No evolution has taken place. Dr. Shevin concluded, The overwhelming message of the fossil record is one of staying the same, not evolving. Of course, many types have gone extinct, and so are not found living. These types also show no sign of real evolution throughout their stay in the record. Fossils never show any significant evolution, rather they show that fossil creatures have no remaining living counterparts, extinction, or that they have stayed essentially the same, stasis, or have degenerated, lost information. Speaking of information, this information is often not heard in the general public or the public school system, so to help get the message out, you can get your very own Living Fossils merchandise from the Christ Jesus Ministries LLC merch store. And you can get the same design on a hoodie, a mug, a long sleeve shirt, or a tank top to let people know that living fossils, like the Atlantic sturgeon fish, chip away at the evolutionary theory. Thank you very much for taking the time to learn with us on current topics in science, where scientific discoveries are examined in light of the origins issue. If you'd like the Living Fossils shirt, you can find it on the Christ Jesus Ministries merch store, which you can find in the description. Please share and subscribe to the Current Topics in Science podcast. It's available on iTunes, Stitcher, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and iHeartRadio. Thanks again for listening, and remember, the truth saves.